As the legislative session winds down, we have an update on a bill addressing forced financing at car dealerships. It was inspired by a series of reports from Jason Wheeler's Right on the Money. And Jason joins us live now from Austin with an update on where that bill stands now. Chris, it almost made it to the very end, but the legislative clock has run out, and so that bill has now died. For those of you who haven't been through forced financing, let's go to the green screen for a recap of how it works. A quick refresher on this. Forced financing at the dealership really became a problem for many Texas auto buyers during the pandemic and even still today because supply has been so low. So the dealer can say, I have 10 people who want the one car out there that you also want. So you have to pay that much and no negotiating. You say, okay, I'll pay cash for it or I have pre-approval or an actual check from my own lender or I got a low finance rate. And the dealer says, oh no, that's that's another condition here. You have to use one of my preferred lenders. That allows the dealer to add on to the interest rate that their preferred bank is charging you. So by forcing you to finance at the dealership, the dealer can also get a cut of the finance charges you are paying. Since I first raised this issue two years ago and did all of those subsequent reports, it got the attention not only of Senator West, but also state regulators. They were concerned about it and asked people to report it. Now, Texas has more than 1,400 dealerships. Just since my reporting on this began, consumers all over this state have filed complaints about forced financing at about 100 dealerships. Some have gotten multiple complaints, too. Now, these are all just the ones that have been filed. There are likely many more dealers who have used this practice. Not all of them do, though. And those who have been doing this have been doing it legally because there's no law against it yet. But this is all playing out in Austin as another kind of relief is happening. We're seeing phrases about auto inventory that we haven't seen in a very long time. Almost normal pre-pandemic levels of new cars for sale now. And fasten your seatbelt, one headline even predicts discounts could be next. Indeed, Cox Automotive just reported that the average manufacturer's suggested retail price for a new vehicle in March fell below $47,000 for the first time since last December. And that auto buyers paid less than the sticker price. The first time that's happened in 20 months. So hopefully uh, some competition, more competition will help. You heard me in there say it's not illegal yet. At the outset, Senator West said it usually takes three legislative sessions for new uh, legislation like this to finally get through. So it could be years. In the meantime, shop around. Live in Austin tonight, Jason Wheeler.